everyone! Welcome to my channel. So today I am very excited to be unboxing the Allure Beauty Box for March of 2024. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Allure Beauty Box, this is a monthly beauty subscription where each month you'll get six or more beauty products valued at over $100 in each box. Now, this is not all full-size products. It is typically a mix of full-size and sample-size products, so keep that in mind. The box itself is $25 a month with free shipping within the US, and all the products that are in this are the best in beauty that is handpicked by the Allure magazine editors. Sometimes they have choice choices and I think February was a choice month and I think April was a choice month because I just made a choice for a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in a Very exciting. Um, but I don't think that's in this box. I actually do have on my lips today the little YSL um, lip balm that uh, we got in the February box which I am absolutely loving. So very excited to get inside the box today. I do pay for this one with my own money. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. So if you like beauty boxes, subscription boxes, things like that, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the like button on this video and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today. All right, when you open it up, that is what it looks like. You usually get a little booklet on side and a quick sneak peek. So the booklet does go over everything that you get in your box. And the Charlotte Tilbury Choice item is for um, April, now that I'm looking at this, because I'm not seeing anything about it in this box. All right, the very first item that I am pulling out is from Beauty Bakery, and this is their Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Lighter palette which retails for $38. So like a blush slash highlighter palette. I do love Beauty Bakery's products. Ooh, okay. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Beauty Bakery's products typically don't have a mirror on them. And then these are the blush lighters here. So basically it's all shimmery blushes. Also my cat has decided to come say hi. So <laughs> if you hear her, um, I do like them. I don't always go for like a shimmery blush. But I do think that there are some fun shades here and even like this darker shade for like my skin complexion, you could almost use it as like a one product as like a bronzer, blush and highlight all in one if you kind of wanted to, just to kind of do that. So nice big pans, which I appreciate. So fun little like shimmery blush palette. Very fun for spring. Up next, we have a product from Strip Makeup and this is their Whipped Coconut Makeup Remover, which retails for $28. So first two products are full size. It says Skin Barrier Restoring Cleanser, clinically shown to replenish skin. It has vitamin E, fatty acids, ginseng root, and white tea extract. Now, I do like a good balm cleanser, which I feel like this might be, though I, I'm like old, old school and I use like ponds. This looks fun though. It's like kind of shimmery, iridescent a little bit in here. I'm wondering, cause it's whipped coconut, but then it also has mango seed, butter, ginseng, and white tea. So I'm curious, like, is this gonna smell? Okay, definitely just smells like coconut. It smells really good. It does have a seal there and like the consistency is like that. I don't really know how to explain that. Oh, it smells a very like coconutty, yummy. Um, it's kind of like a fruity coconut, I'm guessing, probably because of that like mango seed butter maybe that's making it a little bit fruity. I'm very curious to try this because this is a lot closer in consistency to Pond's than most cleansing butter, cleansing things are. So, I mean, I guess this isn't a butter. It's a whipped coconut makeup remover, but whipped coconut, I think of like butters for that. So, I'm very excited. I'm definitely going to have to try this out. It looks like it is oil-based um, whipped coconut cream that melts away makeup as it moisturizes, plumps, softens, and evens your complexion. Okay, very cool. Very interesting product to try out. All right, up next we have something from the brand 1999, and this is their highlighter stick in Mila. Um, this retails for $34 for 0.25 ounces. I'm assuming this is full size. Um, well, this is 0.23 ounces, and the full size is 0.25. I'm thinking this is still pretty much full size. I just think maybe they wrote those wrong. So let's see. I'm not a big highlighter stick girly, but I will say I'm kind of loving this innovative packaging because it's not as much plastic this way. So it's just a nice little chubby thing. This is plastic. And then let's see the highlighter. All right, for me, probably too dark to be a highlighter. Um, this might be a bronzer, like a bronzy highlight for me, but I'm not going to swatch it. I'm not going to keep this. This just isn't really, one, I don't use a lot of highlighter sticks, but two, this is just not the right shade for me. Everybody seemed to get the same shade, which 
can work for a highlighter stick, but also not necessarily in that shade. So not bad, not really my thing. I know that cream products are really in and people really like them. Not so much for me, but still a nice product to receive in the box. All right, up next we have a product from Sol Wasu, and this is their first care activating serum VI. Is that five? I don't know, I don't know my Roman numerals. Um, this is $89 for 2.02 ounces, and this is 0.27 ounces, so just a little sample size of this. I love, like, I, something about the Sol Wasu brand I just really like, um, but I don't think I've ever gotten a full size because they are pretty expensive. It is like in a nice little pump bottle, which I do appreciate. A lot of times you just get a little tube. So I love that you're getting the little um, pump there. Um, so this is their original first care activating serum. Um, I guess it's so popular that one sells it every 10 seconds. And this is a K-Beauty brand. Um, oh, their original first care activating serum is so popular. Okay, this is something different. Um, so, oh, it says, now the K-Beauty brand has updated its beloved prep step by adding antioxidant ginseng for a pampering serum that's chock full of hydrating, brightening ingredients. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm, I just really like the Sul Hwasu brand. I don't know what it is, but I just, even, I like their packaging, and they just, I, I like the way they look, and yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Up next, we have something from Nature Lab Tokyo, another brand I really like, and this is their Clean Scalp Rinse. The full size is $19 for 6.7 ounces, and in this box, you get a 30 milliliter. Mm, they lied. It says here you get a 30 milliliter included in box. This clearly says 20 milliliters, so I don't know how I feel about them saying something. Also, it says that you get a 10 milliliter included in the box, and this is 8 milliliters, so they've got something wrong here. I don't, I really don't like that. That really rubs me the wrong way of like, I don't think they included that before. Now they're including it and they don't even have the right. It's like, well, um, I would like 0.2 more ounces, uh, or excuse me, I'd like two more milliliters of this and 10 more milliliters of this, please, because that's what you're saying is included in the box. Not a big deal at the end of the day, but they really should get that right because I feel like there will be people who complain about that. Anyway, um, yeah, you massage this treatment into your scalp as if you're shampooing, rinse, and follow with conditioner. Um, I've used the Nature, Tokyo, the Nature Lab Tokyo products before. I like their shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if I've ever used this before, but... I'm excited to try it. Up next, we do have a little mask from Sweet Chef. This is their Celery Hydrating Mask. This retails for $3.99 for 0.9 fluid ounces, or 0.95 ounces. This is 0.71 fluid ounces. They're, they've gotten something very wrong on their like sizing for things this month, and it's not me, because I'm literally reading what it says there, unless fluid ounces are different from ounces, but I feel like that's never really been the case. Anyway, $3.99 for one of these. Um, so yeah, um, it has ingredients like hydrating hyaluronic acid and yeah, a nice little hydrating mask. I know you can pick these up at like Target and stuff, so very cool. And last but not least, we actually have a bonus product this month and it is from YSL Beauty and this is their Libre Eau de Perfume. Full size is $155 for three ounces. They say it's a five milliliter included in the box and I don't think it says the size in here. I am curious to what this smells like. I don't want to like spray spray it, but I am going to spray it in the box just because um, I'm a little bit sensitive to perfumes and sometimes they give me a headache if they're too strong. So this is the first floral lavender for a singular trail like breath of freedom. Okay, what they've done is they've it's in French up here and they've they've translated it directly and I don't feel like it reads well in English. Uh, the iconic orange blossom flower from Morocco, a luminous and sensual white flower twisted by the lavender from France, an ambiguous flower often considered as a masculine, as masculine, bringing boldness, freshness, and texture. A fragrance is a shout to freedom, the freedom to live everything to the fullest. So it has orange blossom flower, lavender, and white mask. All right, I'm going to spray a little bit into the box. I just sprayed it all over my hand, which is not what I meant to do. Okay. It smells nice. It smells feminine. It smells rich. I'm gonna go wash my hand after this because not, I don't think this will necessarily give me a headache, but I, this is the first video I'm filming of a bunch that and I'm like, I don't wanna smell. This is not, this, um, it's not bad. It's light, floral, it's nice for spring. You smell like sophisticated. From a distance, I like the smell. Up close, I don't like it as much. Like just a waft of it smells nice, but like actually smelling my hand, I don't like it as much. It's definitely a pretty perfume. I'm not a big perfume girly, so, but it is always fun to get little, oops, whoop, oh, let me just drop it everywhere, little perfume samples in the box. All right, so that is everything in the Allure Beauty Box for March of 2024. I definitely think this was a good box. 
I don't think it's a great box for me and my personal tastes this month. The Allure Beauty box does tend to be kind of hit or miss. Like some months are really great. Like next month we're getting like a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, excuse me. Like that's amazing. And the YSL lip balm from like last month, incredible. Um, the thing I'm probably most excited about is this um, whipped coconut cleanser, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, so I, I may not end up liking it. A lot of the products in this were like, the shimmery blushes are fine, I don't wear a lot of those. I'm not big into like, um, cream products. The hair and the soul also I'm into, the perfume not so much. I don't use a lot of sheet masks. So, so it's like, for me and what I like, maybe not my favorite box, but I think you still get the value there. Like for $25 a month, it's still a really great value. So, very curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the March Allure Beauty Box? If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.